What's up guys, this is Andrew from Tom Goodspedia and on today's episode of Enhanced Common Cuisine I have a recipe that's been requested to me by my friends and I'm gonna be making today spicy fried chicken. Now this is gonna be my version. I've seen a lot of recipes out there that's very simple but this is gonna be very simple as well but I'm gonna put a little twist on it to actually enhance it. Now I'm not gonna be using any leftovers for this recipe but think of it as another way of cooking chicken if you're just tired of normal fried chicken. If you're not fond of spicy chicken maybe just uh, wait for my other recipe. I'll post another recipe that I'll be cooking normal fried chicken like Max's. So make sure to like and subscribe to stay tuned to that. So yeah, let's get started. Let's marinate our chicken first with sriracha, salt, calamansi, paprika, and milk. Cover this up and let it sit for at least 3-4 to four hours inside the fridge. Drain about 3 fourths of the marinade or make sure to leave a bit of it before we add our flour mixture. To the bowl, add 1 half cup of flour and 1 half cup of cornstarch. Add chicken powder or salt if you don't have any and some cayenne pepper. The consistency shouldn't be completely dry nor super wet. It should just come together like this. And please use a bigger bowl so that you don't make a mess like I did. Once that's done, we're just gonna shallow fry this in oil. Fry this for about 6-8 to eight minutes per side on medium heat. Make sure to keep turning it so that it doesn't turn dark too quickly. If you're unsure about the doneness of your chicken, you can always check the inside or you can use a thermometer. The internal temperature of the chicken should be at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's start with the spicy sauce. This is just a simple recipe I made. You can use your favorite hot sauce. It doesn't have to be sriracha. But this is all I have for now, so this is what I'm going to be using. Melt some butter and add your hot sauce. To this, add salt, sugar, and some vinegar. Reduce the sauce until it's nice and glossy, and your sauce is ready to coat your chicken. Alright, so our spicy fried chicken is done. Please don't judge me, I'm gonna use my hands. I think fried chicken is best eaten with hands. So here we go. Ooh, ooh, it's kinda hot. Mm -mm. That's pretty good. Mm. This is best eaten with a blue cheese dip or something. Sorry, my hands are dirty. Something to cut off the, whew, the spiciness of it. If you can handle the spice, this is good on its own. I hope you guys like this recipe. I hope you guys try this at home. And again, I'll be posting links down below if you want to donate to our fellow countrymen to help our communities uh, during this time. Make sure to like and subscribe to Tom Goods Media. Share this with your friends and see you guys soon. God bless and take care.